My name is Carolyn Arita, and I am a director and the head of utilities at Harrison Street. Harrison Street is an investment management firm focused exclusively on alternative real assets. We focus on the education, healthcare, life science, and infrastructure sectors. Our social infrastructure strategy targets mission critical, long-term contracted infrastructure assets and public-private partnerships. The renewable energy and clean asset sectors continue to have positive momentum. Voluntary decarbonization and renewable energy commitments by corporations, governments, and universities are helping drive this. For example, corporations account for 35 gigawatts of US wind and solar contracts today, and the industry is estimating that this demand will increase to over 85 gigawatts by 2030. We also see a lot of opportunity in the higher ed sector. Over 560 universities have joined the Race to Zero campaign and have made commitments to reduce carbon emissions. Further, 45 of the top 50 universities have made public pledges to reduce their carbon emissions by the 2030s. This will require significant investment. Many campus energy systems use older, inefficient fossil fuel-based technologies and have pent up deferred maintenance. Achieving net neutral status will therefore require a major overhaul of the existing systems. A key area of focus when diligencing a renewable energy asset is revenue certainty. Contracted assets are not all created equal and there are often risks borne by the project and owner. A few examples of those risks include economic curtailment, replacement power requirements, and basis differential. Basis differential is the price difference between your project's location and the location where your contract settles. Post-contract prices or merchant prices are another variable that can materially impact project economics and should be stress tested to ensure returns are resilient. Another item not to lose sight of is technology risk. Onshore wind and solar are proven developed technologies with large scale deployment, a host of qualified operators and an abundance of spare parts. We're entering a period where newer technologies such as offshore wind, alternative fuels and batteries will be deployed quickly and on a large scale. As a result, project availability rates, equipment warranties, creditworthiness of the guarantors behind those warranties and CapEx programs will all require extra attention. The decarbonization trends discussed earlier will drive continued renewables build. In addition to onshore, wind, and solar, which have dominated the last decade, we expect to see adoption and investment in newer technologies at large scale, including offshore wind, battery storage, electric vehicle charging infrastructure. Grid resilience, transition fuels, hydrogen, and district energy are a few other areas to watch. With large decarbonization commitment targets quickly approaching, we expect municipalities, universities, and health systems to leverage public-private partnerships to achieve their energy objectives. A total of $85 billion was invested in the U.S. on energy transition projects in 2020, and we expect this number to grow as carbon emissions targets continue to approach.